What's up? How you doing, Jeff? Good, man. You're going to start hiccuping again, aren't you? You're going to see you holding it. Yep. Oh, nope. Jesus. I'm not, I'm not hiccuping. All right. Well, we got a fight this weekend. <laughs> Vander Holyfield, Vitor Belfort. First of all, so this is like, you know, we've had the, the Jake Pauls and the Floyds and the Logans and all this, but now we have kind of something that people are a little uncomfortable with. Some people think that Vander's too old, old to be fighting. Yeah. He's years old, Vitor's 42 or whatever. What do you think about, obviously still in great shape, but what do you think about someone Evander's age stepping in the ring once again? Well, if it's an exhibition, uh, yes, it's okay, but I mean, at 58, you're very old. Unless they have some kind of arrangement, though. I mean, it doesn't seem like Vitor is going to hold back unless he's had some previous arrangement. You know Vitor is going to go in there trying to mm -hmm. swing for the fences. Well, I mean, I don't really know. I mean, I don't, I don't know what they're, what they're, what they're going to put together. I mean, if it's an exhibition where you can't do this, you can't do that, where they have those kind of hidden rules, but nobody knows about, maybe, it, maybe it's a great thing, but. I mean, but at the same time, Holyfield, he always looks like he's in tremendous shape. But at the age of 58, something, something is less than it was before. So if they're not holding back, then are you okay with this fight then? I mean, it's not, it's not Mike Tyson, it's not, it's, it's Vitor, but it's still a very dangerous striker. It's still, da no, it's still a dangerous fight. And I think that, I still just think that Holyfield, if he's even 60% of the Holyfield he was, he's not going to lose to Vitor. But do you think this is something we should see? We saw, you know, Riddick Bowe either is or wanting to come back or is coming back. And, of course, Tyson has Holyfield. Holyfield, Tony, want to do I mean, do you think this is just a, a powder keg waiting to explode here and someone, something's yes. going to happen? Yes, eventually, yeah. Eventually, something's going to happen. And this whole coming back thing in your 50s, in your late 40s, all this stuff needs to stop. So you're thinking basically someone like where Floyd is, is that's about as old or past it as they should be yeah. doing this? I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, the one thing is that that's if you're fighting against someone that's really never been involved in boxing, yes, but or even a combat sport, that should be that should be okay. But, but still, at the same even time, if, even if, but it, regardless of what you think of someone like Logan or Jake's abilities, they can still punch hard. No. So a punch lands, it's gonna hurt, right? So I mean, I, I mean, Floyd being current enough, you know, he's not too far past. But even someone like no, no, don't get me wrong. I mean, but what I'm just saying is that still, even even at my age now, a guy that has never really done anything, I would be able to more than hold my own against him. So that's what I'm saying in that sense. But when you're talking about Another guy that comes from maybe another combat sport, kind of like you said, Vitor. I mean, he was a good striker, but MMA and boxing is totally, totally different. I'm just wondering, like, even you know, obviously, boxing skill wise, Evander is light years beyond Vitor, but I just wonder, like I said, at that age, if Vitor can punch really hard in one shot, you know, Evander doesn't pay attention for one second, gets shot, you know, no, and, that, and that's true. No, but it's, I think it's kind of like what you said. I mean, it's just, it's like a keg waiting to blow up because eventually, at some point, then we were talking about Tommy Hearns and, and Ray Leonard again, yeah. you know, and they're, and I think they're 65 or 62 yeah, or something like that. 62, 63, something, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, that's too much. You know, that's too much, and, and I think at some point, Somebody is going to get hurt. Uh, 
Uh, and once somebody get hurt, all of this is going to be over. You think, uh, what do you think? I know you didn't get to see the footage of Holyfield, but you did see Dale Hoya. Uh, a lot of people were impressed with the shape he was looking in before he got sick. Yeah. But, what about someone like him? You think he should? Because that was a I mean, legit fight. You think? I think. I think that. I think that. I mean, De La Hoya is still young enough to compete. You know, he didn't. You know, I mean, his lifestyle may have caught up with him, but. I mean, but still, he knows how to get himself in shape and get himself in good physical shape. It's all right. Yeah, I know some people are waffling on Evander based on the the pad work we saw. I don't think he said he didn't see it, but are waffling a little bit on his chance. But do you you don't think Vitor had any chance against someone like De La Hoya if they came in? No, I don't think so. So, so you think basically? I think that too great of a boxer. To even. I just think that yeah, I think that when you coming from a different sport with a guy who was actually, you know, one of the pound for pound best fighters at at one point. I think that if you come from a different sport, I don't care if it's striking, whatever, I don't think you have a chance. So if it was up to you, would this fight be going on Saturday or not? I mean, if it was, I mean, I think that this is going to happen no matter what. And okay so I it? think that, yeah, I'm okay with it because the thing is this. I mean, Holyfield is still an exception, you know, to the rule in that we just got to wait and see mm -hmm. if everything happens like people think is going to happen, that he's too old. And you still think Jake could beat Floyd, wouldn't beat Floyd? No, Jake had to throw that in there for you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. Well, we're ready to see you in the rematch with Taylor Hoyer because you got a job. Yeah, I know. Right. Well, well, call him out. Go ahead and take a chance to call him out. No, I ain't calling nobody out. Oh, all right. You didn't even call I got, the cameraman? I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's what I'm calling out. I'm calling out Jody Cole. I'm going to let everybody know your name now. <laughs> All right. That's the, that's, the, that's the dude that be talking all this trash. Right, we'll edit that out. And I'm going to beat his ass. I know you all want to see it. All right. We got to get out of here, Jeff. We got to run. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs>